Good morning, folks. There is an incredible lineup of news this morning, footage of major weather, alerts for tonight, plus a day of top science news about light. We'll begin with spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star very quiet. The former active region takes its brightness over the limb to the far side, coronal hole facing Earth on the south. The solar wind died down overnight. In the middle, purple, plasma speed, we see the previous stream beginning to calm. Earth's geomagnetic field was already handling the stream just fine and remains calm and quiet this morning. Folks, the monsoon has finally reached China. Did so without hitting the driest parts of India, unfortunately, and also unfortunately did so with enough gusto to cause landslides, flooding, and casualties. There are acres of crops underwater as well as thousands of homes. Tonight in the west, biggest alert is coming right at the northern lanes of Tornado Alley. As afternoon rolls on, the system is going to let loose. Locals, please be aware and have eyes open. Could be rough. Well, like I said, today's news is about light. Electromagnetic wave slash photon particles, and we begin nice and easy. University of Pennsylvania triggering exotic phases of matter with light pulses, including odd crystal lattice structures in the molecular bonds. Let's now get a bit more interesting as we look at the light hinting at a huge exoplanet around a distant star. The rings tell us it's there, especially the wobble in the rings, which indicates it's a migrating planetary orbit. And while we don't know what that planet might look like, we can see it's carving a region, multiple AU wide into this massive disk. The dotted line would be Neptune's orbit placed over top for comparison. Up next, let's peek in on the Crab Nebula Nova Remnant in radio, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, and X-rays. Each one shows the electromagnetic wave signature of different energetic light emissions from the material of the remnant, and we are doing this because they tend to leave out one of the most important, gamma rays. Folks, here we report the historic record photon energy detected from space. They are certain these events came from the Crab Nebula, and to give you an example, at the mega electron volt range you are entering gamma territory. Terra electron volts are a million scale up, so it's a hundred million times stronger than what qualifies as a gamma ray, already the strongest light there is. What is amazing is that while powerful, gamma rays are not supposed to get through much, while low energy radio signals can go through a lot. So how did these gamma rays get detected way underground? Now to our top story. Say goodbye to the big freeze hypothesis. The concept that in time all matter will dissociate and even atoms will break down and decay. There is an immortal technique utilized by matter to become the phoenix forever. So let's say you are that gamma ray photon from the Crab Nebula on your way here, but you crash into another gamma ray. Boom. Pair production. Electron and positron pop into existence. Those are antiparticles, like a proton and antiproton. And when antiparticles collide and annihilate, they make gamma rays. You see the pattern? They say the process can occur endlessly and with other types of particles to cycle wave oscillations into matter over and over forever. And what allows this to work? It's not gravity. Utilizing the electric and magnetic forces of the particles, they found them to be acting as one even though they were individual particles. They are interconnected and dependent and able to recreate themselves from their decay. After all, it's just energy. But today, we learn that this universe may be eternal and only because of the electromagnetic interactions between plasma. We greatly appreciate your support. Website members, around lunchtime, we've got the Fly on the Wall podcast and we'll hit current events, Nova facts, and tidy up a big week of news. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.